Welcome to Motion Ranch. As I said in my last video, I wanted to make a video comparing these two rifles. This is a Sig Sauer 5.56 Patrol SWAT, and this is a Bushmaster ACR Enhanced version. Enhanced because it has the enhanced buttstock and foregrip. And these two guns are very similar in style and price, and I thought I ought to make a video comparing the two. So if any of y'all are trying to decide between them, I can help you make that decision. I'm going to kind of go through a list of similarities between the two rifles, and then their differences, and kind of talk about what I like better about each rifle. To start off, I already talked about this Six Hour has fixed sights, and they're nice, but I would really like collapsible sights. The ACR has Magpul sights. They are collapsible. Very nice. They're lightweight, they fold out of the way in case you want to put any optics on there. Both of these guns are piston driven guns. They have the piston adjustment up front on top of the barrel. And since they are piston driven guns, they do not have a buffer tube, so they both have side folding stocks. The ACR stock length is also adjustable. The cheek rest also can be moved up or down. These are nice features, not necessarily needed though. This stock does not lock in place. It just has a little bit of pressure here still easy to pull back and it won't go by itself you need to pull it but it does not actually lock the SIGs on the other hand you need to snap it in place it's locked still easy to pull back the problem with the SIG is you can't drop a magazine when the stock is folded like this the release is underneath the stock right there the ACR when it's folded you can still get to the magazine even on the right side but if for some reason you have gloves on you can't get to that you can always hit it on the left side too both these guns have full length monolithic rails on the top they also have quad rails on the foregrip, ambidextrous safety both sides on the SIG 5.56. Same thing for the Bushmaster ACR, both sides. Both guns have storage in the pistol grip. This one will hold a battery. Both guns take all standard AR-15 magazines, which is very nice. The 5.56 has a charging handle much like an AK-47. On the right side, you do have the bolt release on the left side just like an AR-15 so you can control it from the left side and the charging handle reciprocates every time around fires this charging handle flies back so if there is anything here like your hand or something else it will hit that the Bushmaster ACR's charging handle is on the left side of the gun and it is non-reciprocating so every time you fire this charging handle stays right here but it's very easy to maneuver opening up every time you need to. The bolt release is right here. It's ambidextrous on both sides. All you do is push down, charge the next round. So when you fire that last round, it'll come back, lock it open, drop your mag with the mag release, put your new mag in, close it right there, you're ready to go back. Six hours is a little bit more work, but not much. Last round goes back, you drop your mag, put the new one in, hit your charging handle, or when you have a round in there, you can come over here and pull that and it'll drop it too. Just a little bit more work with your hand. The SIG's mag release is only on the right side. It's in the same place as on an AR-15, so it's really comfortable to use. Bushmasters is on the right side in the same place as an AR-15 as well. It is also on the left side. My 5.56 is about a pound lighter than the ACR. It has a very thin profile barrel, which I like. It makes it a lot less front heavy. You can see here how much thicker that ACR barrel is. This ACR also has a little bit longer rail and a little bit longer gas system, which all adds weight up front. But saying that, neither one of these guns is very heavy. They're both very manageable weights. So all in all, I think the ACR is a better gun, but not by a whole lot. There's just a few simple things that I like more about it. It has uh, more sling mounts on it, and they're pretty much all over the place. It's very well thought out with how easy it is to switch this thing to fit whatever you're doing with it. This plastic foregrip slides right on, locks into place. The buttstock comes off just as easy. Pop it open with this pin. One more pin unlocks the buttstock, comes right out. Drop the new fixed buttstock in. Pin pops it in. And you're ready to go. So I say the ACR is a little bit better of a gun, but it's also a little more expensive. These SIG 5.56s can be found for about 1100 and this is, this is before all the gun craze happened a few months ago. And these could be found for about 17, 1800 um, they're a little more rare. These have been out for a few years, so they're easier to find and therefore the price has gone down. These still kind of have a premium. All in all though, these are both very high quality rifles and I trust my life to both. Thanks for watching Demotion Ranch and we'll see you next time.